Hello and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Nono Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorials, and in this tutorial we're going to cover the um, Project Properties section. And let's go ahead and just open up Final Cut Pro and show you guys uh, what I mean here. In the previous tutorials we created our library called Other, and then within the library we created our two events called Other and then a tutorial. Within the tutorial, we created a project named Final Cut Pro 10.2, and then we imported media, media, which was in our previous tutorial, and then we put it into our timeline. Now, where project properties can be found is you're gonna simply select your project just like this, and you're gonna go open up your inspector tool here. Now, just in case it doesn't bring up the right thing, you're gonna go ahead and click it one more time, and now you'll be able to see here the project properties. It'll give you the basic information regarding the project. For example, the size of it, frames per second, the time, and the 1080p, and what kind of sound, uh, 48K HZ, and then uh, where its location, the tags, and what event it's in. Now, if you wanna change these settings, most of the time, you wanna keep them at their defaults, but modifying, if you can, you can modify this, and you can um, change the start time uh, video project. You can go all, all the way up to 5K, which is quite quite amazing. I only suggest using this if you recorded or used something to record in 5K. And uh, just to let you know, 5K is going to use. It's going to be probably if you're using a 10 minute video. Uh, let's just use two minute video for example. 5K. That's going to be probably around 20 gigabytes in size. So be sure to note that. Um, and then also the resolution, I'm gonna just keep it at 920 by 1080, which is just the standard that it was at already. You don't really wanna mess with these. You can change them and adjust them according to your project, but uh, 60 frames per second is what I'm doing now as well. And that's what, it, actually that's the only option it gives me as of right now. And uh, also there are, you can go to 30 frames per second or, or, you know, or even lower. I'm gonna hit, hit okay and then we're just gonna keep it there. And that's the project properties, you guys. Uh, be sure to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below if you have any questions regarding that. But other than that, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. So let my life